Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at an opportunity cost practice problem that you might see on some of your earlier tests or some of your earlier homework assignments in micro or macroeconomics. With that said, let's get into it. So here's an example problem that you might get early on in your economics course, and we're going to do a step-by-step -step solution on how to solve. So the scenario is this, Sophia is a baker who has 20 minutes left in her shift. She can either bake two dozen muffins or four dozen cookies. Question A says, what is the opportunity cost of one dozen cookies? And question B says, what is the opportunity cost of one dozen muffins? So once again, you may get a question that is very similar to this, but instead of muffins and cookies, maybe it's cars and trucks or basketballs and footballs, but it's two different goods and there's a trade-off happening where you can only produce one good or the other and you're being asked to find the opportunity cost. So let's look at part A first. What is the opportunity cost of one dozen cookies? Well, based on the question, I know that to get four dozen cookies, Sophia must give up two dozen muffins. I know this from the question as it says she can either bake two dozen muffins or four dozen cookies. But I don't care about the opportunity cost of four dozen cookies, I care about the opportunity cost of one dozen cookies, as that's what the question is asking me. So to get one dozen cookies, I must divide both sides by four. So to get one dozen cookies, Sophia must give up two over four dozen muffins. I could also simplify two over four to one over two or one half dozen muffins. Therefore, the opportunity cost of one dozen cookies is half a dozen muffins. And it's as simple as that. So if we know the answer to part one as one over two dozen muffins or half a dozen muffins, then what about part B? What is the opportunity cost of one dozen muffins? Well, it's a similar method to solve. To get two dozen muffins, Sophia gives up four dozen cookies. But once again, I don't care about two dozen muffins. I care about one dozen muffins, as that's what the question is asking me. So to get one dozen muffins, I need to divide both sides by two. Therefore, to get one dozen muffins, Sophia gives up four over two dozen cookies and simplifying four over two to just two, therefore the opportunity cost of one dozen muffins is two dozen cookies. And the answer is as simple as that. Now you might be wondering, how do I remember what the opportunity cost is in terms of? Because you'll notice that the opportunity cost of cookies is in terms of muffins, and the opportunity cost of muffins is in terms of cookies. And this will always be the case. That is, opportunity cost is a cost. And like any cost, it will always be in terms of what you give up. If you go to the pizza shop and you want to buy a slice of pizza, the cost will be in terms of dollars because you give up dollars in order to obtain the slice of pizza. Likewise, the cost of cookies will be in terms of muffins because that's what you give up to make more cookies. And the opportunity cost of muffins will be in terms of cookies because the cost of muffins is cookies. That's what you give up. So I'm about to show you an opportunity cost shortcut which will really help if you're facing a time crunch on one of your intro tests. When comparing opportunity costs of two goods, they will always be reciprocals of one another. So if you calculate one of the goods opportunity costs, instead of calculating the second, you can just write the reciprocal. Let's take a look at our example we just went over. We have one half dozen muffins and two dozen cookies. And if you notice, those are just reciprocals of one another. Remember, reciprocal is when you flip the fraction over and the numerator becomes the denominator and the denominator becomes the numerator. So one over two flipped over is two over one, which is just two. We could also have another example where the opportunity cost of trucks is two over three cars. And without even calculating for trucks, we know that the opportunity cost of a car is three over two trucks. And another example, just so you can see how this works, is seven footballs and one over seven basketballs. Notice that these are reciprocals. So I could calculate either opportunity cost and immediately know the other one just by writing the reciprocal rather than going through all of the calculating. We hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.